Mask of Agamemnon. In 1876, German archaeologist Heinrich Schleimann, already renowned for his discovery of the real-world location of Troy, unearthed a remarkable artifact in a shaft tomb in Mycenae, Greece. Among the trove of gold, weapons, and the remains of a wealthy man lay a striking gold funerary mask, crafted from a single sheet of hammered gold and rendered in three dimensions, a remarkably unique piece from an era when two-dimensional masks were far more common. This mask of Agamemnon, as it would come to be known, sparked a tantalizing possibility. Could this be the face of the legendary King Agamemnon, the prominent leader of the Achaeans in the Trojan War, whose exploits were immortalized in Homer's epic, The Iliad? For centuries, the location of Agamemnon's final resting place has been a topic of heated debate. Some scholars dismiss the king as a purely mythological construct, while others maintain that the stories surrounding him are rooted in historical fact. Overcome with excitement at his discovery, Schleiman reportedly sent a telegram to King George of Greece, proclaiming, quote, I have gazed upon the face of Agamemnon. The mask shared several consistencies with others found nearby, such as the presence of a beard and the artist's approach to facial features. However, the discovery raised more questions than it answered. In the 20th century, the artifact's authenticity was formally challenged, with some critics even accusing Schleiman of commissioning the mask's creation and planting it in the tomb to bolster his reputation. Modern archaeological methods have since revealed the mask actually dates back to the 16th century BC, predating the Trojan War by several centuries. While this confirms the mask's authenticity and suggests it is even older than Schleiman initially believed, it also definitively proves that the artifact could not have belonged to the mythological king Agamemnon. In his final years, Schleiman came to accept the truth about his discovery and the realization that Agamemnon might have been a figure of mythology all along. The mask, described by one historian as, quote, the Mona Lisa of prehistory continues to captivate scholars, offering a glimpse into the rich craftsmanship of the ancient world, even if it cannot provide a tangible link to the mythical figure of Agamemnon himself. Mesolithic Deerbone Mask Excavating England's Star Car archaeological site in 1949, Cambridge archaeology professor Graham Clark made a fascinating and macabre discovery, the skull of a red deer which had clearly been tampered with by human hands. Its eye holes had been bored out using primitive stone tools so that it could be worn as a form of mask known as a frontlet. The skull mask was evidently ancient, though remarkably well preserved. Later analysis would date it to around 11,000 years old. As the dig progressed, more of these Mesolithic artifacts emerged, offering a glimpse into the harsh and nomadic lives of the hunter-gatherers who carved and wore them. These early humans, likely close descendants of Ice Age survivors, inhabited a world that was only beginning to thaw. A 2016 study sought to explain the creation of these masks. Researchers hypothesized that the process began with the killing of a mature red deer, carefully timed for the late autumn season before its antlers were shed. The head would then be removed and meticulously cleaned using basic stone tools. A significant portion of the antlers would be scraped and chipped away to make the mask wearable and reduce its weight. The skin may have been removed by placing the mask in hot embers, causing it to retract and peel. The purpose of the star car headdresses remains a mystery. It is plausible that they were worn by accomplished hunters, esteemed elders, or those holding prominent social positions, perhaps during ritual ceremonies. Alternatively, the masks may have served a practical purpose, enabling hunters to camouflage themselves while stalking deer. To date, a total of 33 red deer headdresses have been discovered at Star Car, with the possibility of more awaiting discovery in England's peat bogs. Blood Mask In the depths of a thousand-year-old tomb on the northern coast of Peru, a morbid mystery lay hidden for centuries. When archaeologists first uncovered the remains of a Sikhan leader in the 1990s, they were confronted with a perplexing sight, a skeleton painted red and positioned upside down, with its detached skull resting nearby, adorned by a gold mask bearing the same vibrant hue. The nature of this red pigment would remain a secret for nearly two decades, until a shocking discovery in 2021 revealed the dark truth behind this ancient ritual. The Sikan culture, which thrived between 750 and 1375 CE, left behind a trove of treasures that have only recently begun to reveal their secrets. 
The tomb of the red-painted leader was found 12 meters below the earth, and it also contained the remains of four other individuals, two of whom were positioned in a way that eerily depicted a childbirth scene. Additionally, the bodies of two children were found, along with an astonishing array of gold and treasure weighing over a ton. Initially, researchers believed the red paint covering the remains was cinnabar, a pigment commonly used in ancient rituals. However, the question of how this paint had survived for more than a millennium remained a perplexing mystery. It wasn't until a groundbreaking study conducted at the University of Oxford in 2021 that the truth finally came to light. The mask, it turned out, had been painted with a pigment composed of duck eggs and human blood. Historians now speculate that the presence of the childbirth scene and the use of human blood in the pigment may point to a grim ritual intended to resurrect the deceased leader. If this theory holds true, the four other individuals found in the tomb may have been sacrificial victims. This theory is further supported by the well-documented Sikan practice of ritual human sacrifice, which were carried out using methods designed to maximize blood loss, such as cutting into the neck and torso of the victims. As studies on Sikan death masks and artifacts continue, researchers hope to uncover more genetic samples from the individuals whose lives were sacrificed to resurrect their leaders. The Mask of La roche -Cotard. In the depths of a French cave, a mysterious artifact has sparked a heated debate among archaeologists and historians, challenging our understanding of Neanderthal culture and the origins of artistic expression. The Mask of La roche -Cotard, a peculiar stone object believed to be up to 75,000 years old, is the focal point of this controversy, with some experts hailing it as the earliest example of a mask in the world, while others remain skeptical of its significance. Discovered in 1975 at the entrance of the cave of La roche cotard sat along the banks of the Loire River, the mask was found in a site that had been sealed off and remarkably preserved for millennia. Deeper in the cave, the earliest known engravings by Neanderthals can be found. They date back at least 57,000 years when the cave was sealed by sediment. The mask of La roche cotard is not wearable in the traditional sense, but rather a flat piece of flint, meticulously shaped to resemble the upper part of a human face without the jaw. Perhaps the most striking feature of this artifact is a piece of bone that has been purposefully lodged through a hole behind the bridge of the nose, protruding on both sides to represent eyes. While some skeptics argue that the likeness is insufficient to truly represent a face, suggesting instead that the artifact is merely a tool with a practical purpose, others propose that the face depicted may not be human at all, but rather that of an animal, perhaps even feline in nature. However, detailed analyses have revealed that the bone was intentionally placed using small pebbles and that the larger piece of flint has been worked deliberately, likely to enhance its resemblance to a face. The implications of the Mask of La roche cotard are profound, as it challenges the long-held belief that Neanderthals were simple, primitive beings. If this artifact is indeed an early example of artistic expression, it provides compelling evidence that Neanderthals were capable of abstract thought and creativity, far more sophisticated than historians had previously acknowledged. Iridium Mask In the world of archaeological discoveries, some artifacts are shrouded in skepticism, their authenticity questioned due to their chemical composition or the circumstances surrounding their unearthing. Such is the case with a recent find near Melbourne, Florida, where treasure hunters have long believed that a fleet of Spanish shipwrecks laden with a precious hoard of treasure lies waiting to be discovered. The story begins with a fleet of twelve galleons, their holds filled with artifacts, looted from the Americas by conquistadors. Tragically, only one of these ships ever reached its intended destination, the remaining eleven succumbing to the fury of a hurricane in 1715, taking with them not only their precious cargo, but also the lives of around 1,500 sailors. For centuries, the wreck seemed to have vanished without a trace, but this did not deter treasure hunters from setting their sights on finding the lost hoard estimated to be worth a staggering $4 billion. Recently, a discovery was made that the Seafarer Exploration Corporation boldly declared may be, quote, the richest archaeological discovery of our time. The artifact in question, a Peruvian funeral mask, was found by a beachcomber armed with nothing more than a simple metal detector. Some have suggested that this mask, believed to be Incan in origin and stolen by the Spanish from a tomb, may be part of a trail leading to the sunken Spanish ships. The mask's composition is a fascinating blend of copper, silver, and gold, but what sets it apart is the presence of iridium, a precious metal derived from meteorites. 
including this rare element, would have required advanced smelting capabilities, raising questions about the mask's true age. While the Inca civilization flourished a mere 800 years ago, some have boldly claimed that the mask may be as old as 12,000 years, which would make it one of the earliest known examples of human metalworking. However, skeptics remain unconvinced. In reality, the mask's likelihood of predating the Inca civilization is slim, and the presence of iridium in its composition is more likely to have been an accidental inclusion rather than a deliberate choice. Nonetheless, the discovery of this intriguing artifact has reignited interest in the lost treasures of the 1715 Spanish fleet, and the search for answers continues. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of the past? Subscribe now to Dark Five's Ancient Mysteries channel and embark on a journey to uncover the most enigmatic and awe-inspiring mysteries of ancient times. Leave a comment if there are any ancient mysteries you want us to explore in upcoming videos.